I'd like to introduce a new patent pending technology for medical gas fittings, which replaces braze joints and eliminates the need for hot work. The Medlock Axial Swage Fitting was designed to meet the requirements of NFPA 99, Section 5.1.10.7. For mechanical connections, it requires an axial swage fitting, a metal-to-metal -metal seal, permanent non-separable joints, and a pressure temperature rating of 300 psi at 1,000 degrees F. The Medlock fitting actually far exceeds the pressure rating of 300 psi. Here's an example of a half-inch L tubing, which is rated at 1,362 psi. We tested it, and we actually burst the tube at 7,400 psi, which is 24 times the pressure requirements of 300 psi. Here's another example of the reliability of the Medlock fitting. We've had this pressurized at 300 psi for nine months without any pressure decay. The Medlock connection results in no hot work, no nitrogen purging, minimal patient disruption during installation, significant reduction in scheduling and downtime, and fast, simple, reliable connection. The fitting is available from one inch all the way down to three-eighths of an inch with tees, elbows, couplings, slip couplings, and test port fittings, both a cap and coupling. Insulation is accomplished with this simple hydraulic tool head that is very flexible and accommodate any system configurations. It's designed to work with all four size fittings, and for the one inch fitting, it simply slips right into the, the die head. For the other sizes, we move on to inserting some die sets. Changing sizes is a simple matter of inserting these three dies that are color coded for each size. The dies simply snap into place. and are locked into place by spring pin, by magnets and spring pins. Let me demonstrate the multiple swaging action. That's how quick and easy the die head swages. We now move on to the tube preparation, which is simple and straightforward per the requirements uh, outlined in NFPA. One thing we do require is that a depth marking gauge be used so we can ensure proper depth insertion of the, the fitting. We've got a simple depth marking tool to be used. You can see through the window that the tubing is stalled all the way to the end to make sure that we get it all the way into the fitting. And then we'd simply use a marker to mark the depth. And you can now see the depth of the insertion. We install that into the fitting and you'll notice that the depth marking is not visible. Once we swage the fitting, that mark will be visible in one of the inspection points. I'm now going to demonstrate the simplicity with the, which with the die head can be used to swage the fitting. Simply insert it into the tool head, pull the trigger. When you hear that audible click, you know that the fitting is swaged. To do the other ends of the T, simply rotate the head, Make the swage. So you can see in a matter of seconds you can complete a T with this simple hydraulic tool. Another benefit of the tool head is that it can be separated from the trigger mechanism and easily get into those hard to reach places. I'm going to install this here and then simply pull the trigger to make that swage. So very flexible uh, in its design, in simplicity, and quick, easy to use. We're now going to move on to the inspection. The inspection is fast and simple. We're now looking for that line, the depth marking line, and we can see that it's visible on the tubing. This assures that the tubing was properly installed and that the collar and retainer were moved forward, making the proper swage. 
The other inspection is the making sure that the collar touches the body without a gap all the way around the fitting. And we can see that this is uh, perfectly equal all the way around, so a perfectly swaged fitting. One excellent application for the metal lock fitting is to tie into an existing line in a hospital uh, where you need to make some modifications downstream. Simply uh, turn off the gas in the, in the line, and cut into the line, and install the fitting. We've previously installed this fitting here, and you can see the depth insertion mark, and tested the fitting. So by then installing it and make the quick swage into the existing line, you can shut off the valve, You've now isolated the system. This can be turned back on, and you're free to move on downstream to make your modifications. The slip cupping is available so that it can be easily tied in to the other line uh, for the tie in. Several other applications are a gauge port coupling and a gauge port cap, and we're also developing reducing T's to allow for line size reductions.